Hey guys, this is Mom of a Gospel Musician. Sorry it's been so long, but um, I'm working on something very, very hard to do. So I've been cranking away with the developers and you. It's, it's going to come out pretty soon, hopefully by the end of April. But anyway, man, um, I know a lot of guys have been actually, which is curious, you've been asking for more lessons, which is amazing because I thought that, you know, there was all that you needed to learn from Jamal, from the videos and stuff like that. But you guys really are still hungry for lessons from me. It's a whole bunch of tight cats out there. But hey, I'm, I'm humbled that you still want to get chords from me. So, all right. So what we're going to do, what I wanted to do first is I realized that I never I never officially launched this. This is the, the upright piano for MK Sensation, Neo So Keys, and pure synth. So the uh, before the upright piano was only for the pure synth, but now it's actually for MK Sensation as an expansion pack. And gospel musicians love the upright piano because once again, you already know my formula: clunks, clanks, sounds, authentic, organic sounds. And there's nothing that sounds more clankier and clunkier and authentic and good than the upright piano. So So it's really clunky. Watch, watch this key off. Let's wait to it. Fades out. Yeah, it's really. So that's where the jazz. Yeah, it's just so most of my demos when I do a piano, I'm gonna use the upright. So yeah, check it out. So Neo So Key Studio 2 and MK Sensation Extreme now has the upright piano as an expansion. So what I wanted to do, just using this um piano at the same time, let's do some, let's do a quick lesson. Let's um uh we, let's be in a key A flat. So let me let's let's just break it down. You know what? Let's let's share it style. So for you experienced musicians out there, put the left hand, right hand chords in the subject so we can see what you use. Let's see how many ways I can go from the one to the four. All right. So once again, let's count this out. One. We're in an A flat scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now the one to the four is absolutely probably the number one gospel movement because we love sitting on that four. We've been doing that back with the Milton Brunson days, and we just, it's just something about that. I think that show show me guys if that's not the prettiest uh five to the four. Now, when we say five to the four, we also mean one, two, three, four, five, flat at five to the four, because it, you can go. So let's just basic fight it. All right. So a regular basic would be. So five, one, four. And then we kind of summarize and be like, let's don't do to the five, one, four. Let's just do the five to the, so the five to the four, five to the four or the. Two, five, one, four, and then the one to the four. Okay, so normally it's just, you know, this classic, you know. So what it is is the one, two, three, four, five, five, one, four, five, one, four. But then we change it and we said, now that five, one, four, let's leave that out. Let's just do the one to the four. So, so how many ways can I do the one to the four? So the most classic way now, the modern way, and I haven't been in this in a while, so if you know a more modern way, it's pretty much this one. It's the... That's the five to... That's the... It's just the most beautiful. That's gospel all day long.
right, so the way that happens is, so now not only am I going to teach you that, I'm going to teach you the quality of chords. So I may not be the guy that has the fattest chords, but I understand from a mathematical standpoint the quality of chords. So let's let's do this very first one. This is the most classic modern one to the four. So it's it's um, a D D augmented seven sharp nine. The right hand will be your perfect fourth. All right. Once again, those perfect fourths. Well. Yeah, those, those perfect fourths are jazz all day long. And then what we called a long time ago, the diatone or the major third. So we got a diatone and the major third. And then together. So my concept is melodic plus, plus dissonance equals fatness. So... This 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 perfect fourth kind of gives you um, a, a, a nice fatness because it's got all right, and then this major third over here gives you that major sounding. So I take my fatness and my major sounding, and that's what makes a fat chord. The dissonance plus melodic gives you fatness because if it's all dissonance then it's too cra crazy if it's all melodic it's boring so these two chords together this these two left hand right hand combinations together with the and notice that my bass is um is is the flat at five so one two three four five flat at five so you can substitute the flat at five with the one because remember, they're all passing tones to get you to four. So I can go to one to get me to four, or I can go to... All right, so that's the... F so, and then now, once I do this big melodic like this, let's stretch it. Yeah. And then instead of just doing this, let's fill it out a little more. Well, how do you fill out a chord? All you really got to do is play the notes within the scale. So let's just add a G. Let's just add a C. And now I've just fattened it up. <laughs> so here it is. Now, another thing that we can do when we're doing this left hand, we call this the major. Let's add this. Um, now, now, mind you, the thing that makes this dissonant is this F sharp. This F sharp doesn't really fit in the key of A flat. But the reason why F sharp works, F sharp works because it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a flat of seven. So by rules of fatness, you can add the flat at seventh to the A flat scale. So say I'm doing two, three, four, five. Now watch this. I just hit. I'm hitting the F sharp with this because the F sharp is now being adopted as an adopted. That F sharp is being adopted into the A flat scale because they said, you're not part of our family, but you're fat enough to belong. So let me add you to it. So the, that's the reason why that F sharp actually works. So we can do this, add the F sharp, and then just play the D flat major. So. So, uh, what other what other ways that can I go to the one to the four? Now we just taught you the fat way. I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of random ones. Just yeah, that's the. Now we're into the diminished land. So this is that diminish. And then I like to do this one. This is left hand. It's a D7. Wow, that's all stretched out. And then. So the, we can do this diminished one, the D7. We can do the. And we can do the. Yeah, 
And then this little old school one. That's sharp 11. And then while you're playing those large chords, you can do scrunches. So it, it's... Let me see what else. Um, that's the classic. Uh, that was around 2002, maybe, maybe 1990. So you put your tritone over here in the major. Once again, dissonance plus melodic gives you fatness. So, so. Ooh, watch out for that spooky ho tone. <laughs> no, just. So that's that's a classic one. This is uh this is the 80s. So all right, what, what let me see what else. So let's play them all. So and then and then and then and then and then and that's classic. And then, and then uh, the stretch. Uh, what else do I know? What else ones would 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 fit? Uh, all right, you want, all right. You want a bonus? Let's give you a bonus. So we're going. We're basically going two, uh, five, one, four. All right. We took the five out and we just did the one and the four. Let's bring the five one four back. But I got a cousin down the street. My cousin lives three doors down, and my cousin to A flat is B. Whenever I need something, if I need to borrow sugar, if I need to borrow uh, 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 just some 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 ketchup, some milk, I can always go down the street because my 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 cousin always has what I need. So if I'm reaching in my bag of tricks, I need to get my cousin because my cousin's the one that has the stuff. So. Let's, since he's a cousin, instead of the doing the 514 in the A flat, let's do the 514 in B, and then we'll get back to A flat. So, so, so let me see, let me see. Um, so, uh, no weapon. That's what we do. Here we go. And then come back. See, we can switch back. So yeah, yeah. So you can, if you really want to switch it up, but you got to talk to your singer because if you just throw that on them, it's not going to be the same because they're going to have to change. They're going to still be in A flat, but they got to change. So no weapon hold against you shall prosper. Or no weapon hold against you shall prosper. See, he's got to change up. Shall prosper. So you got to change it, all right? All right, so that's the one to the four. That's every gospel way I know right now because I'm kind of a little rusty. But please write in the comments your left and right hand. And I, I want to show me some more uh, two five ones or the one to the fours, all right? Gospel music is coming at you. We out.